Manning. Great to be here. Glad I could make it. I just got off of work. Uh, I'm a bartender at an assisted living facility called uh, uh, Concordia Village in Tampa. And the name of the bar is The Last Call. And uh, so I'm glad I could make it here tonight. Before the pandemic, I was working as a, uh, a school teacher at uh, Hillel, a Jewish school in Tampa. I remember one of the students asked me, Mr. Silver, what is circumcision? I said, well, to make a long story short, but uh, <laughs> it's okay, I'll give you a moment. I think these jokes are going over his yarmulke over there. I, think. I, don't, I, I don't know, but <laughs> these kids today, the school kids are all messed up. They all have medical problems. It all starts with the letter A. This kid's got allergies, asthma, adipose, autism, Asperger, anxiety, autoimmune. I'll tell you the scariest one of all is ADD. That is a cruel name for disease because these kids, they can't add. <laughs> but if they're having sex at such a young age, even though they can't add, they figured out how to multiply. <laughs> go, go figure, these kids are like uh, 13 going on 69, I'll tell you. But, uh, I, I never got laid when I was in school. I never even made it to third base. The farthest I got was shortstop. Once she saw how short it was, she's like, stop! <laughs> kids are violent too, man. It's, every week there's another school shooting. No, when I was going to school, the only time I ever saw a shotgun blast was at the end of a joint. <laughs> All right, we got a pretty hip crowd tonight here. <laughs> Think more of a hip replacement crowd back there, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, you know, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie a knot in this rope here. I'm going to do the fastest knot in the world for you guys here. All right, and uh, I'm gonna only going to use one hand. The fastest knot in the world with one hand. I have experience tying the knot because I was married at one time. And uh, we, we had to tie the knot real fast, just like it was a shotgun wedding. The wedding was so quick they threw a minute rice. It was like really quick. But uh, real fancy ceremony. When I got married, they served the Italian wedding soup. And for the divorce, it was split pea. But uh, we, were, we were incompatible because I'm a health nut. My wife, she was just like a nut job. She was, yeah, she, I remember I used to take her forever to get ready to go out. She had to put makeup on both faces. Oy, oy, okay, but, you know, when I first met my wife, she had that hourglass figure. And after we got married, I think she switched over to daylight savings time. I think she might have gained an hour or two, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's okay. I like the big girls. I really do. But I used to be ashamed about it. But now I've come out of the pantry. So, but uh, you know, when I was married, my wife had a weight problem. Every time I wanted sex, she's like, wait. But uh, no, it's true. When I got married, I actually became bisexual. I only had sex twice a year. Yeah. Now I'm single. I'm still bisexual. Whenever I want sex, I have to buy it. Yeah. But my wife used to tell her friends that I was a superhero in the bedroom. The Flash. You see? I am the Flash. There it is. The fastest guy in the world. All those jokes were just misdirection, so you couldn't pay attention to what I was doing there. But uh, actually at the uh, nursing home, I was talking to one of the residents there about the good old days back when, before uh, pharmaceutical companies and uh, lawyers could advertise on TV. And uh, now it's like, that's all you see on TV now. When diet and exercise isn't enough, ask your doctor about Lipitor. Right? And then they give you like a million side effects. And right? then the lawyer comes on. Have you been taking Lipitor and now growing breasts? <laughs> you might be eligible for two lump sums. Call Hooters and Knockers today and claim your two booby prizes. Our legal team will be your bosom buddies as they keep abreast of all the prominent developments. No use crying over spilled milk. At Hooters and Knockers, our motto is tit for tat. That's right, you won't go bust because we're going to milk them for all they're worth. Yeah, I'll tell you, after watching these pharmaceutical commercials, I realize every part of my body has a different emotion. Apparently I'm lactose intolerant with an overactive bladder, an underactive imagination, an upset stomach, an irritable bowel, depressed immune system, a spastic colon, a restless leg, and a lazy eye. I've got RA, RLS, LBL, IBS, ED, OCD, COPD, and low T. But uh, when, when I was growing up, we never saw commercials for Viagra. No, we never saw that. We didn't need it, because back then, in the good old days, the women had real breasts. Eh? Yeah. One more joke for you here. I, I was just wondering, if a guy has to clap and then he takes Viagra, would he get a standing ovation? All right, thank you for the standing ovation. You guys have been a great crowd on Dan Silver.